Hi guys, back a few videos ago we went over intents and how to change activities using them. Today I wanted to show you how to pass a little bit of information by an intent. So let's start off, let's delete that hello world. Let's put a button on our activity here. And if you double click it, you can actually access the text right away. I'm going to call it button. The ID is my button. Okay, let's get a large text field. We want this to say, please enter your name. Uh, we can just call this name text. Okay, and now we need a place for them to input their name. So let's get a plain text field. And I don't like the size of this. Let's um let's go over to layout width, happens to be highlighted already. You type in 250 dp dp for device pixels. And this should be plenty enough room for someone to enter their name, especially if they're only entering maybe their first name. We don't want anything in the text field. But the ID, we should change this to maybe input text because the user will be inputting their name into it. Okay, so our first activity is fully set up. Let's go over to this arrow where it says Java and then we can click on COM, example PC pass by intent. We can right click on it, go to new and go down to activity and then blank activity. Just kind of a recap on how to uh, create a new you know, activity here. And basically a recap on the entire intent. However, we're going to be, of course, passing data. So I'm just going to call this Act 2. And of course, Hello World deleted. Okay, so let's make, let's see, we'll do a large text at the top. We'll say, welcome to act two. And we'll put a comma, and then I'll say the person's name. Uh, we can just say, welcome text, because it's welcoming you. And then a plain text field to output the name. And once again, I'll change this. 250 dp. Okay, if you double click on it so we can edit the ID, we'll just say output text. Okay, so let's go over to main activity.java and we have to import a few different things. Alright, first of all, we're using intent, so import Android. Content intent. And we're also using a view. And we're using a widget. And that's a, a text view widget. Okay, so the idea here is that we're going to click the submit button and the submit button is going to change intents and it's going to take whatever information that we have in the name field here, what would we call it, the input text field, and it's going to transfer it over and it's going to put it over in the output field. So what I'd like to do is create an onClick method here. Actually, first of all, let's get a object reference here. Private text view, and we named it input text. Okay, well, that's a little bit better. Okay, so text view. 
input text. Parse it to a text view. Find view by ID, our ID. Okay, so now we can retrieve the data from the input text um, field. And what we want to do is intent. Uh, we'll call it my intent. Creating object of an intent equals new intent. Um, and where we are, context this, and where we're going. Um, so we're going to is it, act to dot class. Okay, so that's where intent is going to take us. And here's uh, what we need to know, the newest thing here. My intent dot put extra. So we're going to be putting extra information in with this intent. It's going to take it with it. And what we need to declare here is a key, like a keyword, basically, that this information is going to be going with, a string. And we'll just call this data. We can uh, get crazy with naming it later, but data is fine for now. And data, what do we want to take? We want to take the input text dot get text dot, and we're going to change it to a string. So now data is the key for the string that is going to be put in our input text. All right, and the last thing we need to do is, of course, start the activity. And we called our activity, or my intent, we called the intent my intent. So that's all there is to passing the data. You can pass um, images, but you need to change them to a bitmap and whatnot. It's a little bit more complicated, but it can be done. Um, so we're going to be putting extra data in with our intent and passing it along. So now over in act2.java, we need to receive that. All right, so let's import our widget. And it was a text view. And let's go down to the onCreate Uh, what do we call it again? Output text equals text view. Okay, and all that's left to do is to set our output text equal to the data that we passed along. So set the text, and now we have to get the intent, and then from the intent we have to get the extras, and then from that we're going to get the string, and the string is data. And that's all there is to it. Alright, now the very last thing we're going to have to do is go back over to activity main to XML, and we have this button here. We need to make sure that our button has an on click method. On click, and we called the method just on click. And actually, if we go back over, our on click method has to have view, then whatever you want. I'll just call it v. and everything will work perfectly. And actually, when you start typing this in, it should say the method name. There we go. So that's how you know it's working correctly too. All right, we'll save. And I've got the emulator up and running, I believe. Yep. But we have to press play. There it is.
Please enter your name. My name is Andrew. So, button. Welcome to Act 2, Andrew. Awesome. Works perfectly. Alright guys, well we'll see you next time.